in this video I'm going to uh, continue with live paint to assign, uh, assign some opacity and color to some of the architectural elements in the drawing. I started this so that you wouldn't have to watch painstakingly watch me colorize it, uh, everything in it, but you know we believe these to be uh, um, bookshelves. So I loaded a palette with earth tones that, uh, from which we can select it. So select a live paint bucket and uh, choose your uh, colors. Here I'm just filling in elements that we are already uh, have started to colorize. There's a table and some seating. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit because some of these are finer. Right. Uh, maybe we'll have a light color for bathroom vanities. Oops, didn't want that one. Drag. You can drag the uh, color into it. Yeah, whoops. Be very careful. That uh, when you select the swatch, if your entire drawing is selected, it will fill all that with that swatch. So, okay, we have that swatch selected. Let's go back to Life Paint. Let's apply that color. Some of these vanities. White in the center of the inside of this. Okay, that that'll 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 do for for the purposes of this illustration. And now, what we want to do, let's go ahead and select that life paint object again, and to apply a drop shadow or approximation thereof is a um, Illustrator effect. We go into Effect Stylize and select Drop Shadow with the elements that. Um, that you wish to be the, the source of that shadow. And we cl click on preview here, and we see that it, um, it'll generate a modest preview of, of that effect. And we can change the opacity of that shadow. slow to respond. Blending modes, one of my favorite is, is actually this multiply, but there, you know, there are several different blending modes available in both Illustrator and uh, Photoshop. The tools are very similar. Right, so multiply gives you a nice uh, combination. Let's hit OK and see what that result looks like. And then we'll select outside of the object and I think this is coming along nicely right now. You can see we can draw the shadows ex explicitly but sometimes it's a, a nicer effect to just sort of apply um, the, illustr the illustrator effects so it, it, you get a very even distribution of shadows. So that's uh, um, assigning color and opacity to some of the architectural elements and uh, applying a drop shadow.